partnership between the Millbury Rotarians and the City of Millbury, a terrific partnership. This is our second year and what will happen today is the, the money raised today, half will go to the Rotarians where they use it for their youth programs, the other half will go to the City of Millbury to be used for the rebuilding of our recreation center that was destroyed by arson back in July of 2016. The recreation center, as I mentioned, is under construction. It's uh, just a little bit uh, shy of 25,000 square feet, but we'll have a brand new senior center, brand new teen center, a fully licensed preschool, um, a uh, brand new uh, elegant community room that will seat 300 people for events. So, uh, beautiful building, it's going to be a great facility, and uh, I'm just happy that uh, the community could come together and, and the city council um, had made the effort to uh, rebuild the uh, very cherished uh, community recreation center here in the city of Millbury that was burnt down about six years ago. some talk that maybe we shouldn't even do it and actually this is typically has been uh, a fall event but we, we held off in the fall in the hopes that we could do it in the spring and then at a certain point we just kind of took a leap of faith and said you know let, let's just try we'll just start planning it and if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't it turns out that you know things are easing up with the pandemic and all that planning really paid off so we're super happy today we have a full uh, entourage of golfers. We have 72 golfers out today. Uh, we have a whole ton of sponsors of different companies that have come come forward to sponsor us. So we kind of just took a chance and it's looking like it's going to work out great today. We call it our second annual even though we had to miss last year. But it's our intention to make this an annual event and have each one bigger and more successful than the one before it. And we should already be planning a date for next year. And we haven't even started this today, but looking forward to it. inside could actually see people today we're outside so we can go maskless but <laughs> still wear your mask but actually get to hug people and uh, you know it's just amazing to be back with each other we human beings we are meant to be with each other I watch the news I watch the news a lot and see how people are out exercising and doing things for me as an elected official I think I got busier I think the way I made it through was being sure that I'm here to help people and I got involved with COVID recovery teams and things like that. So it's been a really, really busy 15, 16 months on that. I really enjoy being with people. <laughs> I really miss the fact that, uh, you know, I, I spend time with my family and my wife, but, um, you know, I really miss that whole idea of just being with friends and being able to hug people and, and have shared experiences. So it's made me a lot more appreciative of those opportunities for sure. Well, my golf game is going to be terrible, <laughs> um, but fortunately, it's best ball. So we just try, we just play from whoever has the best the best ball. So if I hit a few bad shots, it's really not going to count. Yeah, well, I'm no Phil Mickelson. If you saw the PGA Championship last uh, <laughs> last Sunday, but if I can if I can chip one out of the sand into the hole like he did, then I'll be. I'll have a great day. I just need that one one shot to make me feel good. 